Welcome to the Trump Breaking News Network, your daily source for up to the minute Trump news. Join us today and every day. Here's today's news. This is TBNN. Majority of refugees coming from terrorist countries after executive order struck down. Refugees are flooding into the United States after a judge struck down President Donald Trump's executive order that temporarily halted travel from seven terror-prone countries. Not surprisingly, the majority of these new refugees are coming from five of those seven countries. According to Briet Bart, refugees are pouring into the U.S. after the order, declaring a moratorium on immigration from Iran, Iraq, Libya, Somalia, Syria, Sudan and Yemen, was put on hold by a district judge in Seattle on February 3. A three-judge panel of the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals later upheld that judge's stay. CNS News reported that since then, 2,576 people have entered the country, with 60.1 percent coming from Iran, Iraq, Somalia, Syria, and Sudan. That's 1,549 people in less than a month. In addition, 475 other refugees self-identified as Muslims, according to the Refugee Processing Center. On February 11, Trump took to Twitter to blast developments that had taken place since the court rulings. The president cited a February 9 Washington Times article that stated that just six days after the initial decision by District Judge James Robart, 1,100 refugees came to the U.S. from those seven terror-prone countries. Jessica Vaughn, Policy Studies Director at the Conservative Center for Immigration Studies, said the numbers aren't really that surprising. There's no doubt in my mind they would be doing whatever they could to get people in before something changes because, from their perspective, their motivation is to resettle these folks, she said. It would not be the first time that State Department officials have prioritized facilitating someone's entry to the United States over security concerns. How will the president respond to these numbers? He was publicly upset after the Ninth Circuit panel upheld the stay on his order, and immediately tweeted that he would see them in court over the issue. However, the White House might simply be preparing a new executive order written to survive a court challenge, according to the Los Angeles Times. Share this story on Facebook and Twitter and let us know if you think this is a national security risk. What is the president's next course of action? Scroll down to comment below. That's the news. Join us here every day. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. See you next time. This is TBNN.